the Giga Austin plant in Texas began producing Model Ys in late 2021, according to Tesla's Q4 2021 financial report. In August, we saw a story regarding the first automobile. Several cars appeared in the parking lot more lately, and some were even driving on public roads. Hey everyone, and welcome to Tesla News, where we bring you the newest and best updates about Tesla and Elon Musk. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. The corporation indicated the final stage of the procedure, final certification, and the brief information indicating that the launch is near. Builds of Model Ys started in late 2021 at Gigafactory, Texas. After final certification of Austin-made Model Y, we plan to start deliveries to customers. A fresh series of photographs from the plant shows a unique production strategy for the made-in-Texas Tesla Model Y, a structural battery that Tesla attaches the seats to before the marriage process. Normally, the seats are installed after the body has been joined to the chassis. Thus, this is a unique approach. This novel method of car assembly was originally demonstrated at a demonstration in Germany. As far as we can tell, the new method is achievable not just because of the structural batteries, but it is also projected to improve the assembly process, simplify, and reduce costs. Tobias Lin, who conducts drone flyovers at the Giga Berlin facility, points out that the alterations will affect not just the body, which will include a dashboard, but also the internal sections, which will be attached prior to the marriage. Now the cylindrical cells of Type 4680. As a result, we now have proof that the Model Y will be released soon. But what about Tesla's 4680 type cylindrical cells? Is it a structural battery with a 2170 type cell? Or are they inside the battery? The company clearly stated that the first automobiles from the Giga Berlin plant will be manufactured utilizing 2170 cells, which is the first indirect confirmation for the 4680 powered cars. In this section on the Giga Texas, there is no much information, or any information, about the battery. The second, more powerful indicator comes from a Q&A session in which Tesla executive stated that structural battery packs with 4680 type cells are produced every day at Tesla's Cato Pilot facility in California and placed in vehicles in Texas. Customers should receive the first automobiles powered by the 4680 type batteries by the end of this quarter. In other words, the Tesla Model Y will be greatly improved over the current model, albeit we can't demonstrate how this will affect performance, range, or price right now. Another consideration is that Tesla has a backup plan to employ 2170 type cells, which we can't rule out just yet. The Tesla Model Y owner's manual now mentions the vehicle structural battery pack, and Tesla Giga Texas is ready to start Model Y production in a few days. While Tesla Giga Berlin permits the production of 2,000 more Model Y test cars while final approval is pending, Minister Steinbach claims that the final approval procedure will be unaffected by the water supply case. According to current sources, the Tesla CATL relationship is strengthening as a new facility sends cells to Giga Shanghai. According to the China Passenger Car Association, the Tesla Model Y dominated the premium SUV sector in China in 2021 with roughly 169,853 sales. Finally, a Tesla Model Y escapes being T-boned by demonstrating its ability to pass the Moose test. Wedbush's Dan Ives, Managing Director and Senior Equity Analyst, recently published an intriguing forecast for Tesla's Gigafactory Texas project. Giga Texas, according to the Wall Street veteran, will most certainly be able to begin Model Y manufacturing within the next few days. If Wedbush's forecasts are correct, Tesla might enjoy significant growth in the first quarter of 2022. Ives wrote, Based on our analysis of Giga Austin, it appears paperwork is now clearing the way for Model Y production starting over the next days. We believe the stamping machine for Model Y and testing is already in place and mostly completed. Green light for Tesla to kick off Austin. Tesla was reportedly compiling the required documentation to ensure a smooth inauguration of the Gigafactory Texas earlier this month, according to reports from the Lone Star State. Parts of Giga Texas, according to Travis County spokesperson Hector Nito, have already gotten certificates of compliance from the county fire marshal. Prior to the facility's official opening, such certificates are required. The Giga Texas location has been extremely busy recently, with the sprawling facility serving as the focal point. The recent video from the site suggests that the Cybertruck area may be getting some new devices. Drone pilot Jeff Roberts captured photographs of what looked like to be part of an equipment being transported into the plant, probably for manufacturing of the Cybertruck, during the recent flyover. 
The 4.28 million square foot Gigafactory Texas will be divided into multiple divisions, including final assembly, stamping, and casting. The facility will begin production with the Tesla Model Y and then move on to the Cybertruck. Other vehicles such as the Tesla Semi and Model 3 are expected to be built at the Gigafactory in the future. The National Environment Agency of Germany has once again granted Tesla an early permit to construct 2,000 Model Y test cars at the Giga Berlin. Tesla requested additional models to test vehicles in Giga Berlin, according to Frank Zell, a representative for the Brandenburg Environmental Ministry. Tesla is awaiting final certification from Giga Berlin, while the National Environmental Agency earlier allowed a trial production of 250 Model Y bodies because the quality and the manufacturing efficiencies required for system and unit acceptance in relation to the operating units mentioned have not been achieved. The EV maker requested advanced permission. Tesla pointed out that the parts and the bodies produced at Giga Berlin so far deviated significantly from system specifications. The agency's permission, which includes an amendment, allows Tesla Giga Berlin to construct 250 Model Y bodies. According to the addition, Tesla is now de facto able to produce pre-series. Tesla is allowed to produce 500 corpses every week, with a total capacity of 2,000 bodies. Tesla was also granted permission to produce 6,000 parts per week in Giga Berlin's press shop, with the State Environment Agency calculating that a maximum of 26,000 parts in total is permitted. Tesla is allowed to put the parts together and paint them. Tesla's latest early permission is subject to stringent regulations from the government. Tesla is unable to sell any parts or bodies that have been pre-approved. The use of the parts and bodies produced during the system tests for the production of stable vehicles is not permitted, the agency stated. Tesla must also notify authorities of the whereabouts of parts and bodies as well as provide documentation of disposition. The Giga Berlin test vehicle, however, is unlikely to be scrapped, according to Tagespiegel, because a Model Y costs 60,000 euros or $68,043. As a result, the value of 2,000 Model Y vehicles sold is estimated to be over 120 million euros, or $136 million. At Giga Berlin last week, 33 Model Y automobiles were cited. The Model Y looks to be painted with Giga Berlin's special paint options, including Deep Crimson Multicoat and Abyss Blue Multicoat, while parked at the facility. Giga Berlin has not yet received complete permission from the National Environment Agency. The ruling of the Frankfurt Administrative Court in the litigation for the water supply of the Eggerdorf Waterworks has no bearing on the Tesla Giga Berlin approval procedure, according to the Brandenburg State Economy Minister, Jörg Steinbach, on Wednesday, January 12. The Brandenburg State Office of the Environment has not yet given final approval to Tesla Giga Berlin. There are fears that the lawsuit filed by the environmental group in December 2021 will postpone the official approval of the Tesla Giga Berlin, jeopardizing Tesla's Giga production plans. The Brandenburg State Environment Agency is being sued by the Environmental Association for approving untested enhanced water withdrawals from the Eggerdorf Waterworks in 2020. The case is being heard by the Administrative Court in Frankfurt. So this was all. Add your thoughts in the comments section below. Hit the bell icon and also like, subscribe and share our channel, and stay tuned with us till our next video. We will see you soon with our next video. So be with us and go watch our Tesla Model X video on your left to see some positive aspects about it as well. Or you can also watch newly updated Tesla Model 3 2022 on your right and learn more about the Tesla world. Thank you so much for watching.